Hello, my name is Palma and I'm going to present a new, a new innovation technology. Uh, well, uh, this innovation technology is basically called the uh, talking or the interactive coffee machine. Uh, well, basically this coffee machine contains advanced voice recognition and it basically it can like, for example, um, if the user comes to the coffee machine and it can like interact with the other uh, user, for example, uh, for example, if the user says, I want like a latte with no sugar, then the coffee machine is going to make that latte with no sugar and exactly how he wants it to be. So, so just tell the machine what, what you exactly want and you, a new command will be ready in just a little bit. Also, another feature that this interaction with the talking coffee machine can uh, has is that it is a self-clean product. So basically, nowadays many women are so busy uh, with their work, so they don't have time to clean their product and everything. So basically, this coffee machine can clean its own product and save the energy and time for, for people. And also, it stores uh, the profile preferences for up to uh, five persons. But there's also this option of new. Uh, so like whenever you want, whenever you want to change your mind and make a new coffee, you can just press the new uh, button, and it's gonna make the new coffee as as you said. Uh, as you said, uh, you want it. So also it is also it is straightforward. For example, 30 millimeter uh, for an espresso. So the coffee machine can make it exactly like that. I'm also going to present the marketing part. For the marketing part, our 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 target is basically the US and Europe. So people from these parts can can undoubtedly buy our product and. We're gonna sell the coffee machines to our franchise companies like Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, basically, a partnership could be possible if both parties agree on on, on the specific points. Um, also, we're gonna we're going to use uh, sale promotions to increase sales. Uh, for example, uh, we're gonna for, for example a uh, sentence like buy one and get the other one 50 percent off. Also, we're going to use coupons, free gifts. For free gifts, for example, we're going to whenever a person uh, buys our product, uh, we're going to give him um, or her uh, packs of coffees or something like that. Also, we're going to use discounted price. It's very important for people to buy our product, and we're going to advertise our product through YouTube and all kind of social media, Facebook, Instagram and so on. We're going to use humor in order to grab to grab people's attention in advertising. Uh, and also the humor is very important in order to make people buy, buy our product. And this is all for, for my part. Thank you. Okay, so uh, I'm Lee and I'm going to present you the operation part. Uh, we decided to set up our manufacturing unit in Shenzhen of China because in the processing of developing our talking coffee machine the voice recognition system is crucial and considering this special technology requirement and the cost, cost effective uh, factors uh, we decided to set up it in, in Shenzhen the city is very famous for its high technology design and manufacturing uh, besides, we, our uh, headquarters is based in New York, uh, in charge of marketing and management uh, issues. Uh, as our consumers are from USA and also Europe, the, the most uh, coffee-consuming countries. Um, then, in, term of, in terms of the inventories, uh, we, will, we will rent a bonded warehouse in the free zone in each our main market. Okay, so uh, in terms of the risk, the first one is uh, customer adoption. If the customer is going to like our those advantage uh, high technology coffee machine or not. So uh, before we launch the product, we will do lots of marketing research uh, to see how the consumer responds. And the second one is uh, threatens from the large coffee companies because they have more capital and resource to develop those kind of machine uh, if the
consumers like it and they will just take the market share from us. So uh, we just decided to cooperate with those uh, large coffee machines as uh, Fatima wrapper like uh, Starbucks uh, so we can avoid this problem. And another issue is since we are a very international company, our manufacturing unit is in China and uh, the headquarters is based like on New York. So the global economy is another issue. If the dollar devalue, it will hurt our, our business. Yeah, you can start whenever you want. If you are ready, then tell me. Right. Yeah, I'm ready. You can ready? start. Yeah. Okay. I'm Michael Ruby. I'm I'm taking care of the management side. So the management side, our management team, we we are the owner and the partnership structure of the general management. So we we would we as the board of members, we will take care of the finance, the administration, the sales, marketing, and operation and distribution. But as So I'll be talking about the external management resources. With the external management resources as part of our our management team, we are we, we our resources we're going to concentrate and specifically um, take advice from expertise from law 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 officials and um, business business consultants and uh, and bankers, and that will be our external resources. And with the Personnel plan with a personnel plan, we we going to pay people based on compensation. Uh, with the compensation um, is going to be with a with a compensation, we're going to pay people based on compensation and compensation equity commission. And uh, with the with the commission, as our sales increases, we will increase our our commission to true benefits. Thank you very much. Okay, so. Uh, I'm Edith Bravo. I'm going to talk about the financial analysis. Uh, so the financial investment is going to be 100% from the shareholders. So we don't have to, we don't want to ask for loans because we can to avoid the phase of interest during the life of our company. So um, all our investment is going to be from the shareholders and we decide to invest in inventory. This is in order to manage the high volume of sales, especially during the high volume sales between autumn and winter. Also, uh, we decided to reinvest the revenue in the company to create new opportunities uh, for the business market. And I'm gonna explain two principal uh, statements for the financial analysis. Um, the first one is the uh, income statement. In the income statement, we, pro we project two years, 2017 and 2018. As you can see in 2017, we project 100,000 for income and in 2018, 110,000 for income. Uh, this is considering the market conditions and the potential customer that we are projecting to have. Um, also, we uh, well, we were representing our cost of the product that is the 40% of our revenue, and after uh, after this, we have some exp expenses. Like that we have to cover, like advertising, commissions, rent for our inventory, and also the salaries and wages. So at the end, we are going to have uh, net income estimated for 2017, 22,100,000 uh, and 24,700. Um, this is going to represent the 22% of our revenue. Also for the cash flow statement, uh, our main uh, income is from the sales. So we have to take into account that and also we have to we have some outcomes of cash. For example, for the inventory purchasing, we have also to pay uh, wages and general operating and administrative expenses. So after that outcomes, our cash flow is going to be 15,000 for the 2018. So 
this statement represents that we don't have issues in, li in, in liquidity. Um, also, I'm going to present the harvest strategy. So, in a long term, uh, in the long term, um, we are planning to license our to token coffee machine. This uh, could be with a well-known um, company with a great position in the home appliances industry. This is because we have to. We want to continue into the market, and we want to create more profit. Also, uh, this is gonna give us the opportunity to create new technology because we are gonna uh, spend more time and more of our income in creating new technology. So uh, also we, we want to increase the market share instead of um, having competitors. And uh, in general for the, for the plant innovation, uh, we are taking into account some actions that we have to uh, that we, that we have to work in the board member because we have to take into account some points that is important to or that that th these points is gonna let us to continue into the market. So we have to make a market research to determine our specific target. Also, we have to study the, the possible competitor. We have to look for the best manufacturer, uh, study to, uh, the possibility to collaborate with a uh, well-known manufacturer, uh, analysis the impact of the fluctuation in order to don't, don't, we don't have a big impact in our cost, and also to prepare the financial information for a long-term uh, license for our uh, product. So this is the analysis for, for this innovation, and thank you so much. I think I did a bit well. <laughs>